Panthers, ladies and gentlemen, where we're interviewing chickens. Hey Panthers, and welcome back to the Panther Perspective. This week, we actually will have Danica behind the camera, so I will be doing most of the talking. Sorry about that. Um, we are going to be recapping some of the amazing things that have happened in October and also upcoming in November. From the Halloween dance to us interviewing the baby chickens, we have a lot coming up. To start off, I'm going to be recapping the final home football game. We will be interviewing some of the members of the team a little bit later, and we also really love seeing all of the school spirits for the Red Out. Congratulations to the amazing football teams for an amazing season. Now here is an interview by our amazing sports interviewer. Hi, I'm Cindy Brown, and I'm here with... Uh, Noah Brown. Logan Desusa. Ethan Parsons. And today we're going to be talking about the football season and how it went. So, Ethan... What do you think of this year's team and how do you feel your season went? I think we were a good team overall. We were able to make a tier one. I think our season didn't go as well as it could have, but I still think we were a good team overall. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so Noah, how do you feel you guys played in last week's game against Laurel Heights? Well, obviously we didn't win, but you know, I think the game went all right. And that's about it. Okay, all right. And Logan. Um, what advice would you give to next year's team? Um, I think a lot more focus and drive in our practices and having our players not be afraid to go in and get, get hit in games would help a lot. That's about it. All right. Thank you boys for coming in for this interview and hope you guys have a good rest of your day. On October 27th, Glenview hosted its first Halloween dance since COVID. It was quite a successful dance and we saw many amazing costumes. For many of us, the dance was made extra fun when we saw, you know, Jack dancing in the circle, even when Miss Posey started doing Thriller. That was really a lot of fun. We have some amazing footage that Miss Posey has actually given us permission to share. Here it is. Before we move on to the most exciting part of the Panther Perspective this week, I am gonna be sharing some events for the upcoming month. Coming up this month, we are bringing back Battle Fridays. And last Friday, we had the battle for the, of the grades with the activity that they jump rope. And the winner of that was the grade 11s. Congratulations. Next Friday, we have a battle of the heights as well. But not this week, because this week's Remembrance Day. And the end of the month, we have Battle of Jarman, the beep test that no one can seem to beat him in. <laughs> and we also have upcoming Smitten with Mittens Remembrance Day as well. Uh, we're also upcoming, we have a student versus teacher volleyball, and we also have anything but a backtack day. And now, we are gonna interview some baby chickens. Okay, Mr. Chicken, how do you feel today? Silence is key. Silence. How do you feel today? How's your life going? How do you feel today? <laughs> That's great. I'm glad to hear this. Um, is there anything you have to say? <laughs> Who do you think is going to win um, the game today um, for the junior and senior football game? Wow, they all went silent. That means they're not cheering for our own school. <coughs> what about you guys? Do you guys think we're going to win today? Oh. So you do think we're going to win? Hmm. Odd choices. <laughs> mm. They're indecisive. Oh. Hey, I'm All right, y'all. Um, that's this week of the Panther Perspective. I, um, I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Clearly, these chickens you know are not cheering for yeah. our football team. Ugh.